Hey, this is Rob Ray reporting from Oshkosh 2010. We are really lucky to literally have bumped into Randy Lervold from Cub Crafters. It's very timely for us as we've just run a featured article on our uh, homepage with uh, Randy's company, uh, Cub Crafters, out in uh, Washington State. And we just were really fortunate to bump into him, so I thought I'd ask him just a couple of quick questions here at Oshkosh. So here he is. Good morning. Hi, Rob. How are you? Good to see you, sir. Very good. Thank you. Well, with uh, both of us here, I thought I'd ask, hey, what did you first off, uh, Lauren's article, did it... it pretty much covered a lot of what you guys are doing right now. It really did. Lauren's a great guy. He's what a great stick and he just loves flying so much. So he really uh, covered it from the flying aspect, not the numbers aspect. So we've got a lot of positive comments on that article. It was great to see it. Excellent. Well, what's going on right now at Cub Crafters? So we know the Carbon Cub is just a hugely cool thing and the and the innovation behind it, the the thing you did with the engine deration, I thought that was just uh, really genius uh, what you guys did. And I love the airplane. How so far how's the response from the from the public? You know, real good. The airplane keeps selling in this market, so we're, we feel very fortunate. And, and of course, we're never going to stop improving the airplane. we got lots of stuff going on behind the scenes, and I think every year you'll see some incremental improvement. Actually, at the show here, we just introduced a new package of components we call the Adventure Package. So it, uh, you can put extended range fuel tanks, extended baggage compartment, some different landing gear, really equip it for hardcore backcountry use. That makes it into a single-place airplane, but those passengers are heavy and kind of noisy anyway, aren't they? Absolutely. So that's what's new here. Excellent. Well, what are you thinking uh, just down the road in the near future? What, uh, what are you guys looking at? Really right now, the airplane is very popular and performs well. We're just looking at refinement for the near-term future. And then uh, we've probably got two generations of aircraft planned out after that. That, that part's secret, of course, but uh, we're busy behind the scene. Absolutely. Well, I tell you, the YouTube on Paul Kloss flying the uh, Carbon Cub up in uh, up in Alaska, at, there at uh, the Valdez uh, fly-in there, the, the get-together in May, has got like, I think, half a million hits now from the shortest takeoff, from a couple of years ago when we did the shortest takeoff ever recorded up there. That's pretty impressive, and uh, the Carbon Cub that pretty much speaks for itself. You know, honestly, that was a total surprise. We went to the Alaska Airman Show with our demo aircraft with a regular prop on it, displayed it in the airman show and then Jim stayed a week over and uh, uh, Paul agreed to fly it there for us so there are uh, custom built machines there with nitrous injection and 90 inch propellers and everything and for that plane to have uh, it you know it's a testament to the airplane but to Paul's skill as well so that was a surprise we did we entered just as almost as a joke we didn't think we'd win that so I kind of like that the uh, the end number on it as well uh, whether that was an accident or on purpose it uh, reflects his initials as well Ooh, it does. That just occurred Absolutely. to me. Papa Charlie, Paul Klaus. Very good. Yeah. I did thought that was kind of neat when I saw the uh, saw him taking off there. I'm going, hey, how did they get him to get the end number there with uh, with his name on it? That's really cool. That's good. I hadn't realized that. Yeah. Cute. Well, anyway, we want to thank you for coming by today. We really look forward to coming up to Washington and touring your factory and maybe doing a, a really longer interview up there and getting a tour of the plant and looking at the airplanes. And I'll try to set that up maybe in the future. But uh, for now, thanks for speaking to us here at Oshkosh on your busy schedule. Sure, and of course, we'll do some flying when you get up there. If someone wanted to know more about Cub Crafters, how could they find out more? Cubcrafters.com. Everything's there. Outstanding. Got it right here at Oshkosh 2010. Rob Ray here with Randy Lervold. Thanks a lot. See you.